Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 4 and I thought for this video we try out something a little bit different. We're going to do a winter seasonal championship called Snowblowers. We're going to be in these uh, bowlers here and uh, yeah, it's free races. And uh, yeah, I've already got my uh, driver tour difficulty set above expert so if we win the championship we'll get 20 grand, a wheel spin and a Maserati Levante. Don't think you can get the Maserati in terms of just buying it outright in the, uh, you know, the uh, sh showroom or whatever. You probably can get it in auction house or something like that but yeah this seems like the easiest way of getting it if you want such a car and i do want such a car because you know an additional car in my garage is always a bonus so uh yeah let's uh, see what races we've got to There's go on lots of people coming to watch this winter seasonal you know go and give them a show so yeah first race is well we're in the bowler obviously uh yeah so 550 horsepower from a five liter v8 doesn't even weigh all that much for a car of this size and uh, yeah has plenty of torque going for it as well so let's see what this uh, first race is going to be and then I'll uh, edit into the next one and then the final one after that no point boring you guys by driving around uh, between each race so yeah these bowlers are pretty uh, damn good in terms of off-road capability not the fastest in terms of top speed but definitely more than capable of dealing with the rough stuff so yeah quarry cross-country circuit is our first one so let's see what it's got in store for us. So we're all in the same car, so there's no advantage in terms of power or grip or anything like that. So we're going to come down to the driving, which in my case isn't necessarily a bonus, because, yeah, if you've seen any of my videos, you'll know for a while that I can uh, be quite accident prone at times. Or derpy in terms of knowing where to go. Despite having a map and checkpoints quite large. <laughs> so yeah, easily dealing with all these bumps and jumps, as well as obviously the snow and ice. It's a free lap race as well, which is good. Means you get to know the uh, circuit you're going around instead of moving point to point, where obviously you're learning on the fly. Big ass jump there. I personally don't think the jump is an advantageous thing to go for because usually when you land at high speed, you end up losing some of that speed on the impact, which is obviously not an advantage when you're racing. You don't want to be losing speed at any point if you can't help it so uh yeah and I missed that checkpoint which is certainly something you don't want to be doing but you know when you're going up a near vertical cliffside there you uh it's hard to judge where you need to be going something the driver tires do not have to be dealing with danger with that jump is you can easily overshoot it and go over the cliffside. Again, not something you want to be doing. Right, final lap. We did have a bit of a lead on our on us, but that's either shrunk or gone back again. For some reason they were able to catch up really easily and then they ended up losing ground again. to rewind that time. We've got a big lead on ourselves now. Big enough especially to uh, only have to deal with this last corner coming up. You could also miss that checkpoint if you get that jump wrong but no such worries for us. Not quite as uh, much of a lead on us as we cross the line but obviously enough to gain the first place position and crucially 20 points because this is a championship so it's all based on points at the end of the day if you don't have enough at the uh, end of the final race doesn't matter if you've won the first two or not 
you don't have enough, you don't have enough. So yeah, let's uh, move on to the next one. Right, the Ambleside Loop Cross Country. Probably be another challenging course this. And uh, yeah, obviously at night as well. Which is an additional challenge at times. Especially when it comes to uh, dodging objects. Because again, when you're dealing with a uh, championship where you have all the same vehicle as your opponents, the last thing you want to be doing is losing momentum by hitting things. That's why sometimes it pays to follow who's in front of you, going through walls or fences or anything like that. So then they're going through the object and then you have a clear path. First place has gained a little bit of a lead on, on us all. Clear the path for me, thank you. See what I mean? He went through all that debris and slowed down. I just went through the gaps he made and then been able to catch up. Obviously I'm gonna be start slowing down by going through all the objects first. So it's weirdly a kind of way of uh, you know trying to keep it as even as possible when it comes to who is in first. It's kind of like a uh, catch up on uh, GTA Online. Well, the car in front has the uh, has less power than the cars behind. Oh, just about edged over second place there was not very much difference in between us as you can see in terms of time but yeah despite being a cross country uh, point to point we uh, dealt with that okay but like I said even though we do have 40 points if we came last and only got two and uh, second place there got first we lose the championship overall which I like about championships to be honest it means it keeps you on your toes it means you can't just be relaxed in the final race and you know just you know cruise by and still win overall Nonetheless, let's get on to the final race. So, final race, Gardens Cross Country Circuit. Let's uh, see what this final one has in store for us. Everything's still to play for, because like I said, in the last race, we've come last, and uh, whoever's in second in the, uh, on the leaderboard overall comes first, then I will lose. So, yeah, might well have the most points right now, but... It's not necessarily going to be a case if we lose this badly. Oh dear. Heavy impact on the nodes there. Once again, three laps. for a shed there really does not help your speed. <laughs> line there on the inside.
plow through a shed just to get into first place. Right, let's hold this lead. thing about doing these championships is even if you don't want the car or the rewards in general, you still do get a lot of skill points and uh, and credits just for uh, doing the races themselves, so I find it always worthy to do it even if the rewards aren't to my liking. But nonetheless, free for free win there, though that was a little bit closer in terms of uh, gaining that first place than the previous races, though it wasn't quite so close when we got past the finish line. So yeah, let's uh, collect our rewards. Car, wheel spin and 20 grand check. So yeah, I'll show you the Maserati in terms of uh, its stats and stuff before we go and we'll also do the wheel spin. But yeah, nice rewards there plus obviously free races in terms of credits and uh, skill points as well. Which also adds up to a fair bit. Especially if you've got it on the highest difficulty, which I do not. I have it on pro, not unbeatable, but still, as you can see, I get a wheel spin out of it as well. That's two wheel spins, a car and 20 grand, plus probably around 30 or so for all the races. Right, this is a wheel spin we just got for levelling up. Ooh, see what I mean? And you can also get 110 grand for that. Now obviously, wheel spins are potluck, you're not guaranteed to get that kind of money. But at the end of the day, if you get money or a car, it's still something extra. The only downside is you could possibly also get a piece of clothing that you do not need. So yeah, let's do this uh, wheel spin we uh, won by the championship. Nice 15 grand there, that's more than we actually got from doing a race. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the Maserati. Now it's not the best car that I've ever reviewed, but it isn't the worst one either. It's just, you know, a bit of an underwhelming SUV in general to be honest, but... Overall, like I said, there are worse cars out there that I have reviewed, so uh, yeah, there it is. So you've got a nice 424 horsepower, 427 pounds feet of torque from a 3 litre V6. I think it's twin turbo charged as well. Obviously it's all wheel drive and uh, yeah, weighs 4,649 pounds. And a big problem with this car is the weight. If it was a lot less in terms of weight, then that horsepower and torque would make a bit of sense. but. Having that little amount of horsepower and torque when you know you don't have all that much, uh, when you have a, such a large amount of weight as well, doesn't really help, quite frankly. But yeah, like I said, there are worse cars out there, and uh, yeah, it at least can is somewhat capable of dealing with the off-road elements. But yeah, there we go. So uh, yeah, a nice uh, championship that was. You get a car out of it that you can use, a fair bit of money, and uh, yeah, obviously a wheel spin, which again gave us a fair bit of money so uh, yeah overall a really solid championship I highly recommend trying it out because especially if you want this car I want it not purely not because I like the car in general but just because it gives you uh, more options when it comes to racing or doing other stuff on this game nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye